400 days to go to the Olympic Games, uh, the opening ceremony, um, a really important date. Uh, and what this day has come together because of the young leaders based at Loughborough College and Loughborough University. Um, we've actually got um, 400 children here today. Um, we're running various activities with them um, and then at the end of all the activities that they're running they're going to have a, a torch relay um, so every child is going to get the opportunity to touch the uh, 1948 torch. It's 36 years since I first came to Loughborough and this track was the scene of so much of the hard training that I did with a lot of former students from here and great coaches that helped me on my way in my career. But the children will also have their legacy and we hope that health and physical activity will be key components of that legacy in conjunction with the British Heart Foundation. This, this project is organised um, through the Charnwood Sports Partnership which includes Loughborough University, Loughborough College, um, Charnwood Borough Council and a few other partners within the borough. I mean, this is the sort of thing that I'm witnessing in communities the length and breadth of the country so it's absolutely fantastic. We expect you know, health and physical activity to become the habit for young people and if that's one of the legacies or the only legacy of the Olympic and Paralympic Games then we'll have been successful. Hugely inspirational for these kids, really exciting day. Um, for them to be here um, to, to meet somebody like um, Subco and, and actually at the end hopefully walk around the track with them is going to be uh, a great experience for all of them. Some were saying who's Lord Coe and when you explain what he's achieved and the fact that London 2012 is happening because of his input, his inspiration, um, they do get quite excited by it. Yeah, GB team and the, and the Japanese team, um, so yeah, they're, they're going to be here in, in the run-up to the Games um, using all these facilities, so again, you know, these, these children here, um, they're here today, are going to be you know, using the same facilities as, uh, as the athletes in the run-up to 2012. These are truly world-class facilities now, not just known throughout the United Kingdom, but the very fact that, for instance, the Japanese National Olympic Committee are going to be here during the uh, build-up to the Games, so that's Team GB and an overseas respect. Thank you.